Get ready for the next battle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to invest in a better one then. The fucking Shao Yu player, they get on my damn nerves. Yeah, I mean, I've streamed a couple times without a webcam, but this is this is me actually taking this serious now. Get up to that mighty ruler. Get out of these red. I've been stuck in red forever. A lot of back and forth. Yeah, I've I've been wanting to stream. Honestly, when I when I started going to Florida, I should have started streaming then when I was making top eight in Dev Jam. I don't know why I didn't. I dropped that one combo. That was my fault. Wait. That's that Smug Sensei. Is that Smug? Like the the pro player Smug? I actually played him in Street Fighter 6. He put me in one of his videos. beat me when I use characters I literally do not play. He beat me when I pick Reyna and I don't use Reyna and when I use Jack. He ain't touching my June though.
That's me. A win is a win. I, I literally only play with June. I picked those characters just because I knew you won you ain't been playing. I wasn't just gonna beat your ass with June the whole time. Let's go. Yeah, see, I I, start, I played Tekken 1, but I didn't own it, and I've been playing since Tekken 2, and June and Beck was my two mains. So, like, you like Harang, but Beck was his master. I, I always like Beck more than Harang, but Beck don't get the shine like Harang does. Yeah, see, I, I like to, I, Tekken 3 was a really good game. But, like, for me, my three mains was Kazuya, Beck, and June. And then on Tekken 3, they all got replaced. They, like, none of them was on there. So, like, for me, Tekken 3 wasn't, I, I didn't like it as much as everybody else did. Just, just for that reason. I still played it, and I, I, I played it a lot, but I, I never liked it as much as, um, as much as playing Tekken 2. And I never got to play with June again until Tekken Tag 2. That was a long time. No, Tekken 3 was way more fluent of a game than Tekken 2, but... I just hated that all... Literally, like, because Ka Jin had Kazuya's moves set, and they took him out of the game. So I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And then Beck wasn't in it, and Harang had all the kicks. I was like, who the hell is he? And then June wasn't even in the fucking game, so... I mean, to me, I just, I don't know. It was so many reasons why I didn't like it as much. The gameplay was definitely better, though. Go. He thought he got me. He thought he got me. Just let me know. Ah, why well, let him get me with that?
Yeah, a lot a lot of people don't know, but uh, on Heihachi's stage on Tekken 2, it has Ka Ka uh, Kazumi's name written in Japanese on, on his stage. And Alyssa gets mentioned in Tekken 3, but she isn't in the game in the game till like way later. Harad has already said that um they they have the um they have the uh they have the story like planned out a way long ahead. Like they said they was working on Reina ten years ago. So she she was already like being made way way before Tekken 7. Way before Tekken 7 even finished. Yeah, when I heard that, I was I was I was surprised. But normally, yeah, they normally like game design in general. They plan stuff way out in advance. Yeah, Rain Raina's hard to use. She she's gonna be my second character. I'm just I'm just I'm just stuck on June right now. Yeah, she, she's a complex character. That definitely ain't no uh, character you want to use if you're just starting to learn Tekken. My highest rank was I I played when the game first came out I played Kazuya and then I switched over to uh I played Negan and Lei a lot but majority of Tekken 7 I played King. I believe I got him to red ranks. I wasn't as big as on the ranks and stuff until like I started playing uh competitive 3 years ago. But I know every time that I did go to CEO I played only King. So about three years ago is when I really started taking this more serious. Like I've always played fighting games a whole lot my whole life, but I didn't really start taking it that serious until I started going to CEO.
Uh, well, I mean, out of all my friends and stuff, I've always been the best fight, the fighting, the fighting game guy, out of like all my friends that I live around. But I don't know. I, I, I mean, honestly, I should have been taking it serious because I've, I've always played fighting games like this. It's just after I went to that first tournament. I don't know. I just looked at it through a different lens, I guess. There we go. Oh yeah, in any fighting game, it, it don't matter what fighting game it is. Too, but I don't, I don't even be touching them now. Yeah, like he's a he's a he's a really he's a pretty good far range player. I'm, I'm sure eventually I'll play him on stream. Yeah, you yeah, you gotta switch it up. That's why I tell everybody you gotta switch it up. Everybody sometimes people get too complacent in the same patterns. They don't really work on me that well. Good. Round three. Fight. Yeah, I'd say out of out of all characters, Harang is definitely one of the ones I've played against the most. I'm not used to like all his like new stuff on this one yet though, but I played him a whole lot on uh seven. Well, yeah, not not this guy that you can see in the purple, but the one that's a little further back. That that's the hard rank I play against a lot. Just trying to save rank.
He's like, no, I'm not rematching him. I barely beat him. Yeah, I, I, my first match yesterday when I got on last night, that's exactly why I did this guy. I got two perfects, and then, like, he barely touched me the third one. He, he left immediately. He didn't want none of that. Oh, oh, that was nice. Oh, no, I won't be doing that. You get the most points if you go against someone near your level. Well, I mean, if you, I guess if you're low and you beat him, then it benefits you. But if he had beat you, it, it wouldn't have done nothing for him. You win. There we go. I made it to Mighty Ruler. I, I didn't even make it this high in Tekken 7. Oh, he, and he canceled. <laughs> and he canceled.